Hey, we haven't had the podcast for about three months. We haven't had it. And either. it's been a tumultuous time for, um, look, one guy particularly in our group, Jack, because his reliance on Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are, of all the people we know, you're the biggest investor. Um, How many do you hold, Jack? Well, I got rid of some, sadly, uh, but we're down to four. You've, you've so- you had eight. No, yeah, we had seven, and then Hayman convinced me to sell one. <laughs> I said sell it at ten thousand. You bought it for three hundred dollars. That's a, said, just in case his made-up internet money evaporates. He hates you for that so much, doesn't he? It's the best thing I've ever done for you. And I tell you what, when they dropped down to seven, I wasn't getting much hate from Jack. They went down to seven thousand dollars a few the weeks point. ago. For people who don't know the cryptocurrency, it's been bouncing around. It got up to twenty five thousand dollars. That's when Jack was riding high. He was walking a little taller. Yep. He was skipping into work. Man, last December when I was at twenty five thousand dollars, we're like, you think you're selling any? And Jack's very much a school of thought that <clears throat> he reckons it's going to 100,000. Yep. Then, That's why I wasn't worried about not having another job. Yeah, when exactly. We finished you, on the you, radio <laughs> last I, year. Annie like, and I had this conversation. We're like, Jack just seems to not. Like, we went off and we're like, all right, well, we're working on a TV show. You know, <laughs> we'll find other things to do. We're like, Jack seems to have zero interest in any future employment. <laughs> he literally was relying he's built, on Bitcoin. He's building a house. I think he just thinks Bitcoin's going to go up to a million dollars a coin. He's never going to have to work again. Now, that obviously hasn't been the reality. You've been forced to sell a little bit of your stash. That's right. and To pay for life. And it has been, it's been a bad summer for Bitcoin. Yeah. It has gone down. And yeah. so uh, we texted you, Jack, and just said, hey, look, I think it'd be good to get a bit of that emotion out of your body. Do you know? And the best way to share emotions through song. I, I, tr- I know you wake up. Every morning. Like, if I asked you now, you'd be able to say what the price of Bitcoin is <laughs> at the really? moment. Yeah. I do check it every day. To within $100. Jack wakes up every morning and, and checks it. Yep. Now, I check I check the price of Bitcoin. I didn't realise how much I check it, but on, on Google, it goes suggested websites. Like, these are the top ones you visit. The search, Bitcoin to AUD, is one of my key searches because <laughs> I have no Bitcoin, but I'm fascinated by the price. And I'm, I'm fascinated. And I think of Jack all the time. I'm yeah. fascinated. It's, it's kind of like I've got access to Jack's bank account. <laughs> so I feel like every day I can look. Like I've, it's like I've got his comeback account and I can just look inside and see where he's at. Well, Jack, we thought... Okay. Take us on the ride that has been the Bitcoin crash in your situation. I asked you to bring in the acoustic guitar mm. and sing a song. <laughs> now, will this song work for people that don't own Bitcoin as an interesting insight into those that do? Yes, because actually I this is a life lesson that can... In, it's universal. It's it doesn't par- have to be for just it's a, Bitcoin. It's a parable. Right. It's a, yeah, maybe parable. And I think it will surprise you, the direction of the song, but I sat down... And thought when Bitcoin crashed, how did I honestly feel? Mm-hmm. And this is this is what I came up with uh, overnight. So, <clears throat> apologies to Yamaha as well that I don't have an, a Yamaha. <laughs> oh, stop, <laughs> stop trying to weave your sponsor in. Well, at least we know this will be played at the proper speed and not on one of Yamaha's yeah, slow guitar, notoriously <laughs> slow and uh, and cumbersome right. instruments. <clears throat> All right, a song about... Um, Didn't even have to mention that. <laughs> you no one would have thought to check if you had a sponsor guitar. Okay. All right, this is my feelings after Bitcoin has gone down significantly. <clears throat> What's the point of being rich? Your house is too big and you got too many cars to drive. Why not get rid of material possessions and focus on just living your life I'm sure that you heard before that happiness can't be purchased with cash you won't be surprised to hear a smile from ear to ear when Bitcoin crashed (laughs) I am so happy I am so happy I am so happy that that happened to me Bullshit on this (laughs) <laughs> I am so happy. Sell them all. I am so happy that that happened to me. Give them away, then. Yeah, give them to <laughs> charity. Yeah. Give them to charity. <laughs> so next time you lose a bunch of money, realize that it's actually oh. a good thing that it's gone. Oh, the rat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the breakdown. It's like boys to men. <laughs> it's like Dennis Leary. <laughs> Like forgetting to turn off data roaming when you're traveling overseas. Yeah, who cares? I am so happy that that happened to me. Like making a withdrawal from an ATM but walking away without the money. I am so happy that that happened to me. 
Like investing in the speculative market and losing 70% of earnings in three weeks. I'm so happy that that happened to me. No, you're not. I am so happy. No, you're not. not. I am so happy. No, you are not. I am so happy <laughs> that that happened to me. No, no he's not. Lied. That is a good thing. No, it's not. Bitcoin <laughs> crashed. I am so thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Our first acoustic <laughs> and our first big lie yes. of a song. Yes. Um, the so de- Jack, de- hey, denial is one of the forms of grief. So he's, 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 <laughs> he's in stage two. Is. I think I'm he's not sure what stage. It might even be stage one. <laughs> I think he's in stage We could one. have a song for every stage. <laughs> <laughs> we tune into episode 22 of the podcast for Jack's finally the acceptance song. <laughs> I'm not happy, and I wish I didn't put all my money in something that goes up and down by 100% a day. Vance Joy is going to join us next, everybody. 